Serious. What's something you found on the internet that traumatized you? Attention. Serious. Tag notice. Jokes. Puns. And off topic comments are not permitted in any comment, parent or child. Parent comments that aren't from the target group will be removed, along with their child replies. Report comments that violate these rules. Posts that have few relevant answers within the first hour, and posts that are not appropriate for the serious tag will be removed. Consider doing an AMA request instead. Thanks for your cooperation and enjoy the discussion. I am a bot, and this action was performed automatically. Please contact the moderators of this subreddit if you have any questions or concerns. One morning while I was getting ready to leave for class I came across a graphic video that was trending all over Twitter. It was of a man being brutally mutilated by another man with a machete, and it was absolutely horrific. His torso had been cut wide open from the top of his chest to his belly button and you could see all of his organs pulsating and his heart beating erratically in his chest. He was tied up and squirming, sounding and looking like he was barely lucid anymore. I'm pretty sure his bottom jaw had also been hacked off, and the man who was doing this to him would take a moment to punch him in the face or slap him I'm assuming to make sure he was still conscious for his slow death before hacking away at his body again. It was when he started trying to pry open his ribcage that I had to close the Twitter app, run to the bathroom, come close to vomiting, and then had to compass and sit in class like I hadn't just watched something so nauseating to start my day. I had seen graphic, gory, and traumatizing things on the internet before that video, but none of them shook me to my core like that. That act of sheer cruelty is forever burned into my brain. I can't remember what it's called. But there's a subreddit that's kind of a reverse image search for children's clothing, to see if people can identify it, or where it came from. The photos however are stills from child abuse, porn videos with everything but the shirt or the pants or the shoes edited out. The day I found that, I was wrecked. I thought about those kids and sobbed, and then thought that someone's job is to watch this stuff to analyze it to try to figure out clues to their locations. It all around just wrecked me. At the same time, I'm glad it exists because the internet community has such a vast amount of knowledge and is a great thing to turn to to find them. There was this collection of videos some few teens stepped on small animals one by one. By stepping I'm not talking about those mild sexual ones. They stomped it because they intended to kill. I saw the rabbit, cat and the puppy videos. They just threw them around stomped their lower backs until they died. It was so hard to watch and I hope everyone in that video die a horrible, painful and long death. I later learned they were teenagers from Venezuela. No other info was leaked. A video on 4chan that was titled Policeman vs Army Vet or something like that. Whole thing was filmed by the police car dash cam and you couldn't really see the officer during most of it but hear him quite clearly. So this young officer held up this old veteran in his truck, tried to get him to step away from the vehicle shit like that. The vet, standing next to his driver's door was having none of it, reached inside and pulled out his big looking rifle, clearly pointed it at the officer and, thinking he made his point, turned to get back in his truck. And that was the point the policeman decided to shoot. Don't know if it was warning shots. All you could hear were the bullets hitting army dude's truck and the now clearly nervous officer shouting at the vet to put down the gun. Well, army dude opened fire as well, I think three or four times and immediately I could hear the other guy screaming in pain. Then the vet comes a few steps closer and looks down on the policeman for a moment, lifts his gun and shoots him again. Then he just turned, got back in his truck and drove off. While you could still quietly hear the officer moaning and crying, I think I was 14 to 15 at the time. Back when it first happened, around the start of the first Iraq war right after 9-11, a buddy showed me a video of Alqua, I think, beheading Michael Berg. I'll never forget the terrible sounds he made as they did the deed to him, and they took their damn time about it as well. It was enough to make me super gung-ho for the war. I later changed my feelings on the war, but between the loss of life in this country, and that damn video, my emotions were pretty inflamed for a while. 
this and so many others, the late 90s every link could possibly be something like this. In the days before we had enough bandwidth for a rickroll, shock images were the norm. Whether it be someone with a 10-foot penis, or two girls and a cup, you were in for a surprise, until you got desensitized to it all and started sending it to other people too. What goes around comes around, I guess. I have a similar story. I found a site on the dark web where there was a dog tied down on his back, and a woman, riding his genitalia. She was bawling her eyes out, mouth bound and cuffed hands on her back. There was a guy who masturbated on the other side of the filmer, and it was all just gross. Even calling it gross is an understatement. I am still speechless many years later. It looked very 2000 to 2010 ish in quality. I am also thinking about the woman and the dog if they are okay, but I think not. I quickly closed the site and browser when I understood what it was about. I saw a documentary either set in China or Japan about conditions for animals in the food industry. It had the usual stuff like battery chickens pigs and cows being strung up etc. But one part stuck out to me, there were these wolves or large dogs that were being skinned alive and thrown into a massive container, and at one point in the video there was this completely furless and skinless dog just standing there looking around, like some kind of zombified meat creature that was somehow still functioning. We'll never get that image out of my head. Well. Like 4-5 or five weeks ago I was on Snapchat looking at some meme accounts and eventually I ended up going thought multiple accounts. Anyways one account link or mentioned another account so I decided to click on a bad idea. On Snapchat there are a lot of porn account and stuff so I thought it was just one of those. But oh boy was I wrong. Their story contained a Dropbox link of dog and horse sex with humans. On the story they would show preview of the videos. I mean. Shit it shows dogs having sex with women and horse doing the same. Ike it's fucking weird and for whatever reason I can't get it out of my head. Ike usually weird shit on the internet doesn't fuck me up but for whatever reason this has. When we were in Iraq, we came upon a little town that we were told was hiding terrorists. We got out and started clearing buildings. About 10 minutes into it, we heard someone praying at the top of their lungs followed by a brief scream and gurgling. We made our way towards the commotion, weapons charged and hard tracing. Upon reaching the little town square, found four heads in the street and blood everywhere. Turns out, they weren't sheltering them, they were executing them by beheading them. Our translator talked to the village elder, and turns out when locals would capture or find the fighters, they brought them to this village for their trial followed by their execution. Brought a whole new meaning to heads will roll. Saw a detached leg in a 9-11 photography book when I was about 15. I couldn't really figure out what I was looking at. It was just a leg with bloody scratches and a bright white sneaker on the foot. Then I realized it wasn't attached to a person. I was looking through the book for a very desensitized adult who was teaching a forensics class at the homeschool coop. Also watched the Falling Man documentary to give my feedback on if it was appropriate to show in her class. Fun times. R. Bud Wire's suicide. I was at a coffee shop with my laptop just hanging out and I was watching this top 10 videos you shouldn't look up video. Dwyer's suicide was near the very top of the list. Curiosity got the best of me and I looked it up. It was the most horrible thing I have seen. I was so sure my mouth was just gaping while looking at the man slumped with blood draining out of his nose like a faucet. Up until that point I have never seen the end result of shooting yourself through the mouth. I genuinely felt like crying. I never knew it would look like that. For sure it was just a few minutes but just watching seconds of it felt like forever. I never really had nightmares from movies before this experience but after seeing that I couldn't sleep properly for a few days. It really messed me up. I still shuddered just thinking about it. It was so traumatizing. I am so confused why it's even available on YouTube had never been that bothered by gore or humanity being fucked up videos. 
but for some reason one certain video got to me so deep I was out of it for a couple weeks. Maybe I'm still a bit different than before. It left me with a hand over my mouth and a heart rate of 150 plus and I still feel the rush of terror when I think about it. It's security cam footage of two neighbors having a cuss out in the snow and the one neighbor storms back into his house gets a rifle comes out and guns the dude and wife down. Then he stands over their rotting half-corpses and continues to shoot them while screaming stuff like how does IT feel? Our miserable society should honestly be rewired if it's possible for people to turn out like that. When I was younger, if someone said I wouldn't be able to do something, I had to prove otherwise. This is where I learned to think about the consequences. I was a teenager in the early OOs. On a forum I frequented, a user posted a video and they said no one would be able to finish watching it, and well young me wasn't going to turn down that challenge. Now was she? So, I clicked the video. It was a woman with thin, high heels stomping on a puppy. I did not finish the video. I could not look at high heels without feeling nauseous for many years after that. As an adult, I had to check if it was real. It was. And the reason behind it more disturbing than I could have anticipated. It was a fetish. Pre-becoming a dad, I would be pretty tough to traumatize having seen some shit in my time. Watched a lot of stuff on LiveLeak at one point. Now I have to be really careful what I watch and read. A story on migrants who died trying to cross the English Channel hit me bad. A little boy was amongst the dead but his body was not found for several weeks later and ended up in Scandinavia. I have a little boy the same age. The thoughts of that little boy's body all alone in the Atlantic floating for weeks broke my heart. I had nightmares about it. I became obsessed with analyzing in my mind the whys and tormented myself no end. They all drowned and would have been aware of it happening. It to wore me up inside and still does. Similarly that fuck who shot the three-year-old little girl and her dad point blank in Plymouth. That dad stepped out probably after work to take his little girl for a walk. You'd never expect it. The thoughts of his last moments tormented me yesterday. I grabbed my boy right after work and we go out to give my wife a break and get some play time in. In the face of a showgun at that range. He tried to protect her but he would have known it was over for them. I did the infamous online challenge, Run the Gauntlet. For those who don't know what that is, it's an online video compilation that progressively gets more disturbing. At first it's fairly tame, but as you go through the compilation, things get more gory, disgusting, and downright terrifying. A short list of some of the videos include, a woman attempting to escape a full bathtub while having tied arms, in which she fails and drowns. A man getting stuck between an oncoming subway and the platform and getting crushed. A woman getting stabbed in plain daylight by her ex. A man missing the water on a dive and crushing his own face. Three men torturing and eventually killing a man. And the cartel very slowly decapitating a man with the knife. That wasn't all of the videos. But those are some that stick with me. I advise against looking it up and watching it so I'm not going to provide a link. In the early, terribly, disgustingly moderated days of 4chan someone dumped images of literally the worst thing distributed on the internet. Unconscionable things were being done to the helpless, confused victims, things you would never think to do to anyone who could even consent. I had seen all manner of gore and smut and violence, the cartels, the militias, you name it. This was the only time I ever closed my laptop and cried. In terms of content on the surface of the internet, you only need to go as far as YouTube. I'm not sure if it's still up, but there was a video uploaded once and I believe it was called What Are You Thinking About? Or What Is On Your Mind? In brief, it was a short video of someone laying in the bathtub, as they had a body bag tied around their whole body and a garbage bag tied around their head. After sitting and twitching around the tub for a little bit, the person eventually begins to hack up a bunch of blood. Their body falls limp, and they appear to grow lifeless. I like to believe that the video is just one of those insanely twisted art projects, but it doesn't change just how shocking the content is. I'm not sure if this video is still on YouTube, and being that to 4.30 a.m., I think I'll opt to wait until confirming that. If we're talking about going to the deep web, 
then it's not too hard to find worse content. The worst I've personally seen would be anything tied to Peter Scully. Makes me fucking sick. Edit. The video I mentioned appears to be in a cycle of being removed and re-uploaded. It is called What Are You Thinking? And it is exactly how I remembered it. Luca Magnotta Video 1 Lunatic. One ice pick. I saw something about it when it was uploaded to a horror site and was pawned off by Luca as a realistic horror video. People were showcasing homemade realistic horror videos. I'm sure the comments of everyone who watched were really impressed with the detail for a supposed fake video. I was taken back by it but confident knowing it was a really great fake. Sadly I later found out it was real and he uploaded it. It made me sick thinking about it. Many things have traumatized me on the internet but what takes the cake is Lilaporn that shit is fucked up I mean if you artificially age the characters you're doing past 18 if they're under fine whatever but I mean the full on under 18 character Lilaporn I'd if they're not real it's too close to child porn to my liking and 90% of the people who jerk off to it are the same people who would watch child porn and they defend it as oh well they're fake characters so it's not as bad as real life fine but you're still a fucking creep getting off to animated kids so not much of a win. Back when I was around 10 years old, I was snooping through YouTube and discovered a cool video titled Volcano Nothing Else, just the word VOLCANO in all caps. The video turned out to be nothing more than some clips from the movie Volcano which came out in 1997. The movie is about a volcano that destroys Los Angeles. However, for some reason, this video freaked me out. The lava flowing through the streets, the subway melting around the passengers, it was madness. However, the one thing that solidified me was the song that the creator put over the clips. It was a heavily auto-tuned song that was about volcanoes ironically, but the lyrics sounded so eerie and so disturbing combined with the clips. Ever since then, the song has frightened me. I rewatched the movie again when I was older and I honestly enjoyed it, but the song itself with its creepy sound, lyrics, and vibe still haunts me to this day. I guess it's associated with my childhood trauma. BTW I understand if this isn't technically trauma, it's just a scary reminder from something I felt as a kid. If you wanna look the video up, it's still there. Just search Volcano 1997 on YouTube and scroll down until you reach the video titled VOLCANO in all caps by Kenny Pickett. Like what it's called but I saw a video compilation of guys performing self-genital mutilation. It had the Pop Goes Punk version of I'm a Survivor playing over it, can't get those images out of my head. Also, a video of some guy cutting a live pig's head off with a chainsaw. The pig was like involuntarily jerking around like they were running in circles on their side and blood was just spraying out of the neck wound. Edited because I remembered another video. Not really gore as most answers, but what really stuck with me is that body cam video of that cop that responded to an alleged bomb threat at a hotel. As they were making their way through the hallway they reach the room, two kids get out and need to comply. The girl does, the guy is so fucking scared he reaches for his boxer short that's constantly slipping off and gets shot because of maybe he is carrying a weapon in his butt cheeks. Fuck America and its gun laws. Situation. If you are the type to be easily disturbed by gore, then Best Gore isn't a website you want to look into. I thought I had no issues with gore until I looked onto the website. It isn't even a website on the deep web or some shit like that. You can just Google it and you will immediately find it. Been on there a few times and I was disturbed every single time. Not recommended for the faint of heart. Edit. I have another one. A few months ago. I was browsing through friend requests on Facebook and I saw some dude, several friends in common. I decided to look at his profile and the first thing I saw there was a video compilation of snuff videos. Mostly people getting shot, started off with some woman crying and her just getting shot in the head, covering the wall behind her in blood, blocked him and reported him. Since this kind of shit isn't allowed on the platform, I'd cow several of my classmates would be friends with that guy. I was and still am truly disgusted. I think I'm generally pretty savvy, and it's not nearly as bad as some of the shit I know is out there, but fuck on a show Joe 03 fucked me up. I couldn't stop thinking about it. I know that obviously it's not real, 
but the fact that someone spent hours animating a young girl being brutally tortured in that way is just sick. And the fact that I know some people can and will get sexual gratification out of watching it is also pretty horrifying. When I was a sophomore in high school, I saw a video of a group of people torturing and killing a few people for fun in a basement as well as some dude putting his junk in a decapitated horse head. There was a scene in which a guy was having sex with a dead body that had been cut open. You could his penis through the wound. It might have all been fake, but it still haunts me. I'm not affected by it like I used to be, but it's still messed up. I guess it was some mix of shock and morbid curiosity that kept me watching, but I wish I hadn't. 